Hi, my name is Henrik Johansen. I'm a Danish dressage trainer. And uh, once in a while I get invited over here to the States to give clinics and to help trainers develop, learn more. When I was 15, I uh, left home and started to study to be a trainer, which today takes six years in Denmark. And uh, after in education, I went to the military for one year, also with horses. And uh, then next, I educated trainers and students in Denmark for 14 years before I, in 85, started my own business as a freelance instructor. And in 91, uh, I came over here for the first time. Show off, it should be a one and only time, but people were nice enough to invite me to come again. So since 91, I've been coming in three times a year and been helping amateurs and uh, instructors, and I have been enjoying that very much. Today we have a trainer's day, that would say a, a clinic for trainers, and uh, we have that once every three months. And today's subject, will be collection and self-carriage. Uh, we are going to talk about straightness and balance. That will say everything it takes to teach a horse to care of himself. We are going to start out with two hours of theory here in the classroom. And after that, we will go to the arena and we will bring out some horses and we will see the whole process step by step from the very young horse and uh, until we have a horse that can actually move, work in what we call self-carriage. That is going to be the main subject for today. And slow down your own rhythm more. And he will slow down more. Can you see that? Very good. So no pulling back. She's just, you, you could say half horse, but it's not even that. She's just going into a more critical candle herself. Good. Now please make the candle a little bigger. And Lauren will go in a bigger candle. And the horse will step into a bigger candle. Super simple. Then that bending must be created by driving a little forward and out to the outside ring. That he really understand how to answer an inside leg aid. They are being used at the curve. That he understand that when the rider drops the weight to the inside, deep inside heel, knee, drops the weight on the inside sit bone. That means give to the inside. If we take the hardest test we have, it's called Grand Prix Special. There we only have four exercises. There are four exercises in that whole test. We have half passes, flying changes, candle pirouettes, and transitions. Transition in and out, medium trot, Piaf, Passos, Extended Trot, is all transitions. So we need to have an accordion in that top line. An accordion in that top line. Uh, it's probably the most important to develop is their ability to lengthen and shorten their body. To make that happen, they have to have a relaxed top line. To have the top line relaxed, we need it around. 